Hey guys, so today I'm doing a Kylie Jenner monochromatic inspired look. My tongue's red. Let's not talk about it. So, I did this look. I don't own Dirty Peach, but this is Dirty Peach because my friend owns it who lives just down the street. Giselle, if you haven't watched my vlogs, you should go do that. She's in them. She's probably going to be in all of them. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, I personally don't like peaches on me just because they kind of look like paint. I don't know if it looks like it on here. It did kind of when I first put it on. But it's definitely my favorite peach of all the peaches I've worn before. Which isn't many. Because... I don't like peaches on me. But this is a really pretty look. I really like it. It's super simple. Like dead ass. It's so it's so simple. You use like two shades. And like that's it. <laughs> um but yeah. I did this look a few like a couple weeks back. I don't know how long ago. Let's check, shall we? It was this. Oops, you can't really see it. Let me see if the brightness. What? Um, yeah, so that's my picture, and I just couldn't get a good picture of the face, <laughs> um, and I didn't, I didn't film it, and in here I'm wearing Exposed, because Exposed is like the peachiest I'll usually go, but this is kind of pretty, I kind of want to keep it, and I didn't know if I was going to actually order, like I had Dirty Peach in Malibu in my cart, and I was like, ugh. Oh. Don't spend any money. Do you really need dirty peach? Like, it, you don't even like peaches. So I didn't get it. But my friend got it, like, a few seconds after that. It was, like, during the free shipping. So we both had the same thought. We were like, oh, we have to. Like, we have to get it because it's free shipping. But she ended up getting it. So I went over there. You can see it, I, it was, like, a new location because I had to go apply it over there. I was going to get it and then come back and then go back and give it to her. But whatever. Like, you guys can see here. It is really pretty. This look is so... It's my favorite look ever. It's definitely my favorite look to wear. I do really like monochromatic looks. Super pretty. Um, but yeah. I like it. But this also looks good with exposed. I would show you. But I don't want to take this off. Because I don't have Dirty Peach to put it back on. So. So. See you guys on the flip side. Um, I didn't use the same color blush just because I didn't know I was going to do this look. I had a different look planned, kind of. It wasn't planned. It was just like I, I kind of saw it in my mind and I was like doing it and then I didn't like it. So then I took it off and then I did this this um, makeup look because I've been wanting to do it. So I used Spring Sheen by MAC, but if I had changed it and... But if I did this again, I would have used um, this guy, Luminous Peach. Maybe I'll put a little bit on because that's kind of cute. But it Too Faced. I don't know if they actually have this, but just, you know, like a peachy blush. Like, that's what you want to use. Duh. That's so cute. Oh my god, I die. I just sneeze. Oh, oh. Um, I never have a script to read off of, so I'm just going for it. What am I putting in the crease? I'm putting peach smoothie, because I always peach put peach smoothie. And I'm using a big fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. Don't know the number. I will possibly, possibly not list it down below. Um, I probably should do that, because you guys always ask. Then I'm using this orange from the Morphe 35O All Matte Palette. And I'm putting this, just kind of blowing it out all over the crease, all over the lid. That's kind of going to be our monochromatic shade that we're going to use for um, the color that's going to match the, the lips. So putting that all over my lid, all, all my crease, super easy, just with the, with the fluffy brush. Then I'm taking this little like white and cream shade, putting that on the lid just to 
add a little bit of dimension, but I put like a lot. So I added a little bit more orange. I kind of blended it away. But now I'm taking more of the orange, putting that on the lower lash line, mixing it a little bit with peach smoothie. This is literally the easiest look in the entire world. It's ridiculous. So yeah, I'm doing that on with another. Oh, I'm actually using a Morphe 433 for this. Um, I guess it's kind of like the MAC 217. And then here, I added this Sonia Kashuk um, eyeshadow, but it's not necessary. It's barely pigmented, didn't really show up, and then I kind of just felt like doing it just for kicks, but it was stupid and didn't do anything to me. So I just blended away. And then I took a black, and oh, this is from Makeup Geek. It's corrupt. And on a flat definer brush, also from Morphe, I'll list that down below. Um, I just... Uh, I just smudged this on my upper lash line. I kind of winged it out, but not really. I more just extended it because I kind of wanted to make my eyes look bigger. And um, what we're gonna, what I'm gonna show next, will kind of show you how my eyes look bigger. So I'm taking, I cleaned off the brush. I'm taking these brown colors, and then I'm connecting um, where I extended it out to, towards um, the center of my bottom lash line. That is kind of gonna widen my eyes, make them appear bigger it's kind of an illusion and then once I put my eyelashes on I'll kind of extend it out to where I ended that black line so I'm not going to end the lashes on my the very corner of my eye I'm just going to extend it a little bit on the black line to make my eyes look bigger so I'm doing that I'm using Ardell 113s and I'm applying this with a tweezer and I used a white eyelash glue this time because I felt like it um, and then I added a little bit more shadow, just more of the orange one, because I wanted more depth in my crease. Um, I like doing this after the lashes, kind of to see what I need to add, take away. And then I add mascara to the bottom lashes. And then, what do I do next? <laughs> oh, I added a little bit more shadow because I wanted to make my eyes look even bigger, just add more shadow. And then I put a nude eyeliner in my waterline, put a tiny bit of brown on the outer corners just to kind of help define where the eye pencil was. And then I took black on a little pencil brush, put that in the inner corner, just kind of make um, the lashes blend in with the inner corner because you don't want it to look like, you know, it just stops there. And then I covered up the lash glue with some black shadow and then it just kind of um, clears up as it dries. Added a little bit of mascara to the outer half of my lashes because I wanted it to be more defined there. Put more on the bottom because it um, kind of disappeared a tiny bit with the shadow. And then I'm at my friend's house and here's a clip of me applying lipstick because she has Dirty Peach. I don't own it. Um, we were actually going to get it the same day when it was free shipping. Um, but I decided not to because I was like, peaches usually look like paint on me. Like, is it really worth it? And then she bought it. So now I'm over at her house because she lives right down the street and I'm applying Dirty Peach. So you can watch me do that. You're so needy and just like an attention. She's so cute. Oh, the little face. She loves you so much. I know. I've never seen her so calm. I know, I know, I know, I know. And that's it. I didn't actually have um, kind of me showing the makeup, so this is all I got. And then a couple pictures after this. So thank you so much for watching. I know it was a really simple look, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. I love you so much. Goodbye.